So, I'm gonna roll a joint real quick. I got my matcha on deck, we're back on board. I slipped back, man, I don't know how it like happens, I guess, in all kinds of things. Old habits die hard. Started drinking Monsters again, which is weird, because I stopped for a really long time, like a year or two. And then, um, you know, that's when I like found matcha, but I discovered, I found out, like once I started getting stressed, and I started getting more tired, little things like the two minutes it takes to make a matcha, I started to just like in my mind be like, just to get a matcha, like whatever, what, like just pushing off little things to make time because I'm so stressed and busy. Not good for me, so I'm gonna cut it out and I'm just gonna go back to the matcha. I think it really started happening traveling because it was harder to, it's not harder. I made it, I told myself it was harder. So I'm gonna get back on that and then try to like, you know, I've been eating pretty bad too lately. I think I said it like a week ago. So, um, get back on track here and you know, get ready for the summer. Today, speaking of just craziness and stress, I'm waiting on Sager. It's fucking grind, man. Uh, SLX, I know y'all say these don't stick. This bitch sticks. I clean it all the time too, whatever. Yeah, waiting on Sager because today, so we had the drop on Sunday. Amazing drop again, it's all sold out again. Actually, I think there's some t-shirts left. I think there's some long sleeve, holy design t-shirts left. And then we have the pre-order that we've been shipping, the hieroglyphics tee. So we had a hieroglyphics tee and sweatshirt and all these other things and <laughs> You know, the, one of the main questions I get like all the time is about brand building. I get a lot of messages just, you know, about tips and advice on building a brand. And I really don't have any uh, real advice other than to just like be yourself and be social and, you know, not take things super seriously, but also be serious about your business. So a whole other talk all together. I could probably give a whole TED talk on the shit. But today we're gonna talk about the stresses because this pre-order is supposed to have been gone. It's supposed to go out Friday. A lot of it is shipped and a lot of it will ship today. And this particular design, because the pre-order is so large, so the reason I don't do pre-orders is because we literally in our in-house print shop, when we do a pre-order, cannot fulfill the order in a timely fashion. Like I'd have guys working 24 hours a day for a month and we would not get the amount of orders done in time. So that's why I don't do it a lot. So with this pre-order, long story short, when we got some of the shirts back to ship, um, the color's not right. Like, color of the pink, it's not a bad color, it doesn't look bad, but it's not the color of the sample. It's not the color that we put out. So today and this weekend, most of this weekend has been spent fixing this problem. So today we're gonna go and get check in, make sure everything is fixed and everything should absolutely ship by Wednesday, hopefully. So we're working on it, but I'm just gonna show you guys, like be super transparent about what's going on. Go show you the color, go show you the shirts and um, just kind of like show you what my day is like on days where it's really crazy and all over the place. Um, we also have shoes coming in. I have those Gosha Adidas coming, which I'm pretty excited about just to see what they're all about. Don't know if I'm gonna love them. Don't know if I'm gonna hate them. Uh, this weekend, went and saw Ready Player One, which was fucking amazing. I'm not gonna give any spoilers here, so you don't have to worry, but what an amazing movie. I said it on Twitter. It's probably the best movie I've seen in 10 years. It's really good. I mean, it's an action movie, so I try to think, like, if you don't like action and you're not, I don't know if it's a perfect movie for everybody, but if you're into video games and and you've been into video games since like the 80s, or even if you're just currently into video games now and like video game culture, um, it's pretty fucking cool, man. Like there's a lot of really cool stuff. I could talk about that movie for a long time, basically. But super cool movie, definitely hyped to go and seen it. So uh, that was cool. And then of course, Omar's birthday party was amazing. So happy birthday, Omar. Please still let me put that in. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Look how easy. Oh, he's a good man. That's such a good boy. Look at you. Boy, <laughs> he's so good. Oh my. <laughs> oh. Add her weight. Wait. You. Just burnt one, girl. I don't know who it was. It wasn't me. She's like looking at my eyes. Yeah. Like, fuck. I did so good for like 10 months. <laughs> fuck. I was gonna go over there, but they said they'll have the blue hoodies done later today, so Rose is gonna pick it up tomorrow. There's fall on my side, too. Yeah. I'll take some of the blame with it. I mean, it's bullshit, and I sent on the shit. 
But he was like, dude, I tried real hard, and this is what I went off of. And I was like, yeah, but what about these photos in this mock-up? And he's like, yeah, that's the first stuff you sent. Then you sent me the lookbook, and I went off the lookbook. And I was like, the first photos I sent, you were the samples that I made. Yeah. He's like, yeah, but I just, I went off the photos from the website. And I took a picture of mm -hmm. the one we had compared to the ones that I sent him that were on the fucking dryer. Yeah. And you can totally, I was like, I mean, it's a weird one. It's close, but ours pops, and yours doesn't. Yeah. If you look at them side by side, he's like, yeah, well, I didn't have a sample. And I was like, yeah, it's my fault. It's I'm like, fixing the problem right now, and if we ever do this again where I have to print a sample, or if I'm printing a sample and you're printing the sample, I will physically have a sample in front of you. You can match it 100%. Yeah. And so that's my fault that I didn't. I mean, we'll drop them again later, you know, as like a, that's what I told them, a I shade. Not, and they're not, they're not bad. But. No, it's not bad. It's just not the color that we right. sold. Like, exactly. It's not. Exactly. It's, and that's yeah. why if it wasn't a pre-order, it wouldn't matter. Exactly. And that's why I told <laughs> I said, we already sold people. And then he said, well, I looked at the product fix, and like, I mean, like, they'll pass. But you don't see all the other vlogs that yeah. we're wearing it in. And like, or just the colors pictures. that it matches other stuff. Like, yeah, yeah. you know, it's like that shit goes perfectly with, you know, a certain Kith colorway or whatever. So, yeah, it's just gotta be right. But, uh, we'll just do off shades. Talking. We'll do the off, we'll do the off shade. Off quote, shade. unquote, off shade. Yeah. We'll have those as the basis and they're just be, everything will just be off a of shade. That's what we'll do. Okay. Uber ski. I wonder what that costs. Cheaper than a DUI is what it says. Um, but I wonder what it costs from the mount from down here to the mountain though. But it's a funny slogan. Cheaper than a DUI. Yeah. But you're not supposed to be drinking and skiing anyway. They're talking about after you ski. Once uh, you've done skiing and you go and drink. visit some of the establishments draped upon the mountain that serve alcohol. Yeah, I wonder how much that costs. A lot of people day trip that whole shit though. We just go and ride and go home. A lot of people go there, ride, eat, hang out. Yeah, a couple of Drink. Oh yeah, they stay until the goddamn mountain shuts down and they kick them off. What's up, shorty? Shorty bad out here exercising. Oh, shorty bad. Look at this guy. Pretending like he's working. We're out here doing, these are the uh, friends and family. You're what, sending fucking memes to Burgos? No, Burgos is sending me that because yeah. he's so excited that he's getting the friends and family. Yeah, guess what, Burgos? No, you're not. Cancel it right now. Don't send it to him. Damn sure. Do you want to explain why? But there's a limited and sizes tomorrow. and that's why not everyone is getting them, but everyone is considered friends and family. Yes. Oh, you want me to explain why? They, because, um, I really know why, because this is what we had in this cream and the it's sizes. All this, so it's we, all that's left in the cream shirt. Yeah. So we just printed on what sizes we have. Yeah. There's literally one medium. Take a second. I haven't watched the vlog of me getting Nikes. They're calling me like an asshole. Man, last week you were all about boots. Now it's about one pair of Nikes. Denouncing you. put the, the collection up. That was the best April Fool's troll ever. Uh, I'll talk to you later. All right. See you Thursday. I'll love you forever. Better. <laughs> oh, you need that too? I mean, it's mine. Is it? I don't yeah. know. Yeah. Oh. Is it? I'll see you in a little bit. I'll Peace be back. to the Middle East. Yeah. Kind of need to go to this olive oil store. Never been to the olive oil store. Some old vlogs. Oh, look at. I love nice. vlogging in little things. People just looking. I know. I was just thinking drinks. the same thing, and I walk down this street all the time. Yourself a small town. This is where you start vlogging. Find yourself a place where people don't really even understand what's going on. No, they have no clue. Fortnite whenever I see shit like that now, dude. What? <laughs> like half-built buildings. You think of Fortnite whenever you see yeah. a building under construction? Yeah. Are you seven years old? We should dress you up like a Fortnite character and you should just do the live-action Fortnite. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, no, yeah. Oh, it's one of those undercover date shows. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Olive oil. Hey, let's talk. <laughs> let's talk. No, Justin's a. a, a it's it's just pure 18 year. Yeah, I, I had some of that too. Well, I probably should pick up a bottle of that. 12 year, which is dark. Yeah. So I have a 12 year, which is clear. Those will be the most tart of the acidic. As we age up, we go to 18 years. And as it evaporates in the wood barrels, it gets sweeter and thicker. Okay. So, yeah, you get a shot of something? We get you a shot. I know, I know. I was thinking. Alright, I'll take a bottle of that too. Okay. Alright, back in the streets of Littleton. We've just got some olive oil and vinegar. Ern's first experience. My reason I'm being so excessive about this is the people I'm behind her is really uncomfortable. <laughs> That's exactly what it is. Should be like, hey, all right. One point no. One point. <laughs> Here we are. Here we are. Back. Back in the car. We're not driving far. We can't catch a break with these goddamn printers. Yeah. Red balloons, though. Yes. No, he just walked through the balloons. <laughs> Did you see that? Yeah. They're not even balloons. They're like fucking punching bags. <laughs> the balloon. Yeah. 
Yeah, I'm ready to smoke the fucking joint. I haven't oh, yeah. smoked today. No vaping, no, no, I just had an, I got up, yeah. I started, I went to the shop. Yeah, no vaping? You didn't vape a little? No. You know, you vape, hit the packs, you um, run this red light? going for it. All right. See, this proves that to everyone that he's not. Like, everyone's like, oh, you shouldn't be driving high, that's why he always does this shit. No, yeah. this is just who my man Aaron is. It that's is. It. Blowing red lights. Blowing smoke out the vape. Yeah. What do we smoke? Surprised you're not wearing like one of those fucking cat in the hat alien hats today. Some fucking jinkos. Uh, we're going to graffiti your shit. Take it easy. Take it. Yeah. Oh my god. Hey boy. Hello. Hello, my little grown up dog. This Hopefully is, it even shows good enough on film. I know, you might not. It's the problem so, is, on film it, it so looks good slight, and then every, yeah. you know. This is what but we, we fucking care because if it looked good on film, we could easily trick you. Yeah. We don't want to. Hopefully. No, you can see the yeah, drops. Yeah. So this will have to drop. I told Sega this morning we'll do an off shade drop so we don't lose all this money. But she gosh. gave you the top shelf. Gave me the fucking mid. Bitch, it's my vlog. You got Biggie Smalls number nine. I got Biggie Smalls number one because that's what he is in my heart. Well, Sunshine he Daydream number two. Yeah, but he was shot in the nine on the ninth. Right. Nine. Livid. Motherfuckers don't even know about the bottle service. Don't need a table. I got the club in my house. I don't even got to go to the club. The club is in my house. This is not a Bow Wow challenge. These are real bottles. And refill this ain't on no chiclet shit. This ain't been refilled with tea. That Tuscan herb. Oh, Tuscan shit. herb. Met with the owner today, I'm just saying. Yeah. Another day in the life, I'm on Melrose. My favorite one yet. The shipping label? Yeah. I don't like it when people say that. You don't like it? Mm -mm. Well, what do you want to say? Because if I say my favorite one was your first one, you're not going to like wanna, that either. I don't want to know. I guess I don't really want to know what no, people's what favorites are. I mean, it's all personal taste. It's not like one's better. It's not like I'm like, hey man, this one's better. Some of the other shit I'm not into. I just... Mm -hmm. I'm just talking about from an art yeah, no, artistic it. standpoint, I guess I just don't really care. Look, I'm crazy, dog, all right? I know. Get it, homie. Nice. Our Copa Mid PK. It's funny because I did not like those Copas. I was just gonna say that though. No. But these are PK. The others are leather. I know. Well, that's the difference. Also I don't, don't think have... it was the brand name that stopped they also you. Don't I think... have... Oh, that is. That is. That is something else. Yeah. What's your initial reaction, right? It looks like an orange, like a like a fucking. I don't even. It's I just. Yellow. I have not seen these online, so I did not know what was coming out of that box. Dude, this is really nice though, not to be like a one oh. of those dudes. What is it? Suede. That's a. It's like a rough suede though. It's like tumbled, I think. Yeah. This PK is really crazy. It's so squishy. And the 3M laces. Damn, dude. Boost like the um, trail boost, I guess. Oh. Huh. I just how there's there's no uh, what's it called torsion piece and there's no. Uh, do the aces have them? Right? Yeah. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. I kind of like it. You're really helpful right now, sir. Thank you. You're being so helpful. Dude, stop. Go. Go. Dude, the PK man, is so nuts. I'm just throwing time on food. I'm just throwing time on food. You're sleepy, look how pink your face is. The hoodie. Is that Colorado logo? Yeah, it's very Colorado. It's funny. Holy shit. I think it's more scientific. But hey, scientific. Hey. It reminds me of the inside of a jawbreaker, honest. It makes me hungry. It's our science book, class book. Can you stop? How are you? Yes. Uh, windbreaker. Shout out to the plug. These, even this, might be another surprise. I don't know. Make sure they're 13, they are. Holy shit. Ooh, another what the fuck? Another trail. Oh. Half trailed shoe. It's not very really like Dude. a lot of boost. That's not boost. That's amazing. 
There's no boost? There's no boost. I mean, there, no, there's black boost in there, but it's like kind of how like the Turex boots are. Those yeah. like snow boots. Terex, Terex. What the fuck? I just got these literally just to fucking try. I was like, I've got to see what these are I love out. them. This little neoprene tongue is cool as fuck. Yeah, it's a cool shoe. I mean, how do you even use something that cool it's a looking hiking as shoe. a functional shoe? I know. That's oh, what, like how do you ruin the shoe? Yeah. That's what shoes are made for. I do. get it, but they're made so fire. Like, you can just get an all black pair of this or something, which they probably don't even, Oh, look at the insole. Yeah, it matches the... You love it. That's like the Nikes used to like. Well, like the do the right thing era? Yeah. Actually, that also reminds me of like the Dikembe Mutombo shit, which was... Um, I mean, I know it was a little bit different, but this is a crazy shoe. Definitely nice. not prime it, but that makes sense. Why would it be crazy? Let's go hiking. This can't be that comfortable, though. Now it just cuts to us in the mountains. Let's shoot the Terex today. <laughs> Why do you want to shoot those? No, I'm just kidding. I just really, I like both these shoes, yeah, actually, They're both a lot. surprising. Cool. <coughs> different. This, yeah. Innovative. Yeah, different. Unlike Jordan, see? That's what we're talking about, bitches. we the shoot what I'm YouTube. wearing. YouTube. How's there a 500 error on you? Is YouTube down or just... Yeah. What are you up to? Did you drop something off of me or I don't know. All right, I'm going back to ship, I guess. All right. Back to shipping. See y'all later. Jesus, today's been crazy. Um, so finally, as far as shipping goes, let's just get into it. The blue shirts are done. Pretty much all of the packs on the pre-order have shipped. And the only thing we're waiting for is tomorrow the green hoodies to get fixed because anything that was blue was impacted by this issue and the green hoodies were impacted by this issue, which has been a huge, huge hurdle. Uh, but I think finally tomorrow everything will finally leave. So that means that puts us, it'll be the third, the fourth at the very late. Oh, it's Wednesday actually, I'm sorry. So it'll be the fourth when it goes. So we're like three days behind. They will all go out and then everything from this drop will all ship by Friday, hopefully. So we're, ca we're caught up. We're catching up, everything's cool. It's really not a big deal for you guys, I don't think, but huge deal for me and just Sager and everybody involved over here because I um, do not like the issues. Speaking of issues, since we're gonna talk shoes today, is there anything else that I need to talk to you guys about right now? I don't think there is. I think I've pretty much covered all these other things. But anyway, um, so these shoes came in and when I opened it, I think I even said, I was like, oh, it's like school bus yellow. I thought they were gonna be solar yellow. I ordered the solar yellow pair and I got this pair. And when I went back to go look, I realized that there was a solar pair as well. They just sent me the wrong shit and I'd already put them on and already worn them. So it really, I mean, what am I gonna do? You know what I'm saying? So that kind of sucked. So I went ahead and ordered the solar pair too. <laughs> So I guess that mean I, I guess that means I really like this shoe. But this is the box, the Adidas. It's got the Gosha branding on the side. Uh, this is just his name, Adidas. You know, so it's got like the uh, A16 style box, the soccer style box. Ugh, so this shoe, man, what a fucking surprise this one was. Like I bought these on a whim because someone tagged me and I was just like, all right, I'll check them out, whatever. Worst case scenario, I sell them later. Man, like. I was super surprised, like obviously super surprised that I just ordered a second pair of them and I'm just gonna keep these. But these are like sick. Like I did not expect this at all. I'm so super surprised at how much I like this shoe. Really, really surprised with myself. If you don't know, Gosha Robjinsky, people will say Gosha, he's a fashion designer, filmmaker. Uh, he's from Russia and a lot of his stuff is, it's post Cold War fashion. So essentially the best way that I can describe this is a lot of the fashion is for the youth. I mean, it's high fashion, but it's sort of, you know, the youth of Russia finding their own voice after the Cold War. It's basically the celebration of youth in Russia actually being able to be a youth, essentially. I'm not gonna get into a political debate because I don't really know that much shit about it. Anyway, though, um, so you'll hear it called Gosha Gosha. There's been a few collaborations now with Adidas. He did one last year and then this year's collaboration where these shoes came from. This collection in itself, pretty much everything you see has a very high like Russian influence, which it should because my man is in Russia. This particular collaboration, the idea behind it or the source of inspiration is uh, rave culture and sports culture. So you see a lot of vintage kind of soccer and sport culture mixed with a little bit of rave, which is kind of like what it is, like rave culture. A lot of ravers were soccer players, I feel like. You know, I just think it's a thing. But that whole style, I mean, if you know the vibe I'm talking about, it was really big in the 90s, but this whole, 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 whole drop, this whole Adidas Gosha is 100% ravey. It's just soccer jerseys, oversized 
clothing, everything's everything seems pretty oversized in general, and it's just um, yeah, it's a it's a crazy collab. Biohazard symbols, stuff like that. If you lived through the '90s in the rave era, you know that this shit is back. Like. It's back. But this, this shoe I don't think is necessarily, the, the other colorway I could see being totally raved out. This colorway I think can be kind of implemented wherever. Uh, I don't think it's necessarily, you know, I don't think you gotta, gotta save this for a rave, you know? You don't gotta eat Molly to wear these shoes or anything. I know, you don't have to eat Molly to rave either, but. But yeah, so this is what the shoe looks like. Super sick, this is the school bus yellow. To me, some people are gonna call it orange as they do every time. I assure you it's yellow, it's golden golden yellow. You have the response trail boost sole, so there isn't full length boost in this, it's just the heel, which I only have one other shoe like this, which is the Kith trail boost, uh, which I really do like that shoe a lot. I really enjoy wearing it. This was completely different experience than even that, and I, I know I'm like a broken record here, but because of this upper, and the way it holds your foot down, you get a lot more bounce out of the heel when you're walking. You certainly don't feel that same comfort as ultra boost, but it's really, I mean, I will say having it in the heel alone in this shoe with the marriage of this upper, it feels good, it's comfortable. I ain't wear them all day yet, but I definitely just, again, I ordered a second pair, so I obviously am fucking with it. Basically you have a Copa upper. You guys remember I got the Kith Copa soccer shoe that I did not like. And that was an all leather upper, but this is a Copa PK and it's also a mid, so it sort of has everything that I, that, that I love about, you know, if you're paying attention, these are the types of things I love about shoes. And this PK, again, we're just in some other realm of fanciness, it's just, really nice like this in here is just like the softest like pillow on your toes it feels so good the suede here is really really nice suede on the back i'm again not a crazy leather junkie but this is this feels really really nice and then just the quilting on it like it's just super sick it just has a completely different look completely different vibe and then the comfort's on point too like it just it, it yeah dude it's just comfortable three stripes for adidas three in laces that come with it there's not an extra set of laces. Then this whole clear caging system in the back, which is cool. I like that this is clear. If this was not clear, I don't know that I would like it as much. Like if that was black, don't feel like it would look as good. Copa, Adidas. And then there's also an insole with dual branding that does come out. Okay, cool. Um, as far as fit goes, true to size is perfect for me. I do not need to have size down on this. They're not baggy really in any area. There's a little bit more going on on the business side in here. A nice uh, felt like liner on, I mean this shit on the inside is fucking ridiculous. It's like a blanket dog. Like there is like a felt blanket liner on the inside that comes all the way around the shoe. The only place that you lose it is the knit here but you can even see like in the heel. Super nice padding. So it's almost like this padded sock within the shoe within you know within the upper and then all down the top of the shoe there's um, sort of this vinyl that runs down but you can feel all these bumps. Like you can feel it's double sided with that, uh, it's double sided with that insulation there. So like it's just, dude, it just feels amazing on foot. Like it's really just a nice comfy upper. Again, the uppers of these shoes are what are making them just dreams come true to me. But I love this. Like I really, really love this shoe. I love the trail on it. And I'm just surprised. Like I'm super surprised because I really, I really like it. Like I don't give a fuck. Drop some more of these for sure. Even if they're all Gosha, I don't care. Um, and then you have Gosha branding heel tab, which is also, suede that's pretty much it so this is the yellow version and like i said the solar is coming but uh really i don't have anything really bad to say about this shoe i know a lot of people aren't going to fuck with it but i think this is super interesting it's a hybrid of another shoe we have that i didn't like i wanted to like the copas so bad but uh i didn't but now i get to so i'm hype i love it it's sick these are dope these are still available i'm pretty sure dover street markets where i got mine they are not paying me to tell you that but they're all over if you just uh google gosha adidas you should be able to find a pair at least this pair there's a yellow pair and then there's a white pair well and there's other stuff from the collaboration that's cool too but none of them are like full length booths, different like models that I'm not really into, but a lot of them look good. A lot of the stuff from the collab looks really good. A lot of the clothes look really good. I just not, I got some red swamp pants coming, but other than that, I didn't get anything. So I can't go crazy. I got too much clothes, so I can't go too crazy. Gosha, Copa, PK Mid, I'm super hype on these. That's the day, that's the shoes, that was life. See you tomorrow. Peace.